For this video, I'm going to show you how to use the website SoundCloud. You've already seen the video about Photobabble. Obviously, Photobabble uses pictures, but SoundCloud has no pictures. You're just recording your voice. We will also use this for speaking homework assignments in my class. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to the SoundCloud website, which is soundcloud.com. Okay, once you've done that, if you have an account, you can sign in or you can sign up. Again, if you have Facebook, then you can just sign in with your Facebook account. This is the easiest thing to do, but you don't have to sign in with Facebook if you don't want to. Now, once you sign in, if you go over here to the top, to this button that says Upload, it will take you to a page where you can make your recording. You press the orange button for record. Make sure you press allow. And then you press record again. Now when you press record, as you can see, it begins recording your voice. And it tells you how much time you're taking. These can take as long as you want to. Photobabble is one minute, but SoundCloud can be as long as you want. When you're finished recording, you press stop. If you'd like to hear it to make sure it's good, press play. Now when you press record, as you can see, it begins recording your... Okay, I like it. It's good. If I didn't like it, I could press start over, but I like it. So I'm going to press upload your recording. Now it's going to take a while up here for it to upload. And while it's doing that, I can change my settings. I can change the title if I want to, my recording, anything I want. Now we're going to go down here and look at a few things. You can change your settings from public to private. With SoundCloud, you really should change your settings to private because a lot of people use this site. And if your settings are public, you will get a lot of weird people who visit your recording and they might make comments. So it's better to choose private for SoundCloud. Okay, when you're finished, you press save. Now once it's saved, it will take you to a page where you can play your recording if you want to. Okay, you can also share your recording. So let's press the share button. Now, like before, you have the same options to share your recording. I like the code, okay? So we're going to, again, press that HTML code, and we're going to copy it. Go back to Blogger. Press New Post. Make sure we have HTML post. We'll call this My SoundCloud. And then we're going to paste this code. And we'll press Publish. Don't share on Google+. And then we'll press View Blog just to make sure it works. When you do this, as you can see, your SoundCloud has appeared. Everything's there. I can play it and listen to it. Very easy.